So this is a quick tutorial about emulator version 1.5 for Tractor 2. I'm just going to show all the buttons quickly and give you a quick rundown of where everything is. I'm going to leave a lot of this, a lot of the details out so that you guys can just figure it out yourself and play with it. But just give you a quick rundown of what is new on emulator 1.5. So when you turn it on, whenever you first turn on emulator, just make sure you reset your sliders on both the sample bank and the main bank, as well as your low, mids, highs. Just snap them back quick. That resets all the um, all of the uh, MIDI controls, and that way you're good to go. So top left-hand corner here, uh, pretty obvious, but that's your play button. Q, Q's Q up is when you let go. It starts, so there you go. Um, your cue points one, two, three, four, five, six. You can set a cue point by simply pressing the button. Boom! To oh, that one's already set. To delete a cue point, if I wanted to delete that and reset it, you hit Shift One, which is the bottom left. Hit Two. That'll delete my cue point. Now, if I go back to the beginning, I can go and now set another cue point there. Okay, so Shift One plus your cue points deletes your cue points, and just hitting the cue point starts it. To the right of that is your SP button, that's your sample, that's your sample triggers 1, 2, 3, 4 for your left deck. On the other side you have sample triggers 1, 2, 3, 4 for the right side. And then you have MO which is monitor, it's your headphone monitor left and right. To the right of this you have this really cool button here. And what it is is a loop recorder. So, so we'll do this. And it's recording loop and you can hit it again. Now be careful, the volume doubles every time because it's, see now, my master's not playing anymore, it's just the loop recorder. Okay. So there you go, and you can delete that with that, and there's your volume on that. Just be careful when you are recording that, it goes really, really hot quickly. Okay, so um, SE, that this SE button here is choosing where it's the loop recorder is recording from, main, cue, external, or auxiliary. You can actually record your voice saying, you know, hey, everybody. Uh, just to the top here, I just want to just show you something quick here. If you hit the emulator logo, if the logo faces the crowd, that's cool. But right below it, there's a CPU button. If you're finding any audio lags or your computer's running a bit slow, hit the CPU button, and you'll notice it gets rid of the extra lines underneath the faders. So I hit the CPU, gives it a nice pretty, uh, pretty lines, but uses a bit more CPU usage. If you turn that off, it speeds up the computer a bit. Okay, Moving along, underneath your decks, you've got effects 1, 2, 3, 4. Those turn on the effects. And in the bottom right-hand corner, the effects button is there. So we'll turn on the effects bank. That turns on all the effects. Same as uh, 1.4. You can fiddle around with all your effects. You can go into Tractor and set all of these as you want. We've preset them for you, but um, if you don't like that, you can do it. So, for example, if I wanted to do a gate or something, okay. Now, people are asking me, how do I set a, uh, a sample? Sample is very simple. So, what you want to do is you want to set a loop. So, let's say a far, four bar loop. And then, once you have a loop set, so you've got a loop set, I can go into the sample, which is the bottom right, just side, to beside the effects. And I grab that loop, so I just grab the title, simply drop it into my effects bank. And now, when I press play, it should be. So there you go. So if I hit stop there, and that'll just keep looping. You can have it set to do just a one shot, so if I do it from up here, so you can actually have it like this. And I'm playing the song. Okay. So I've got it to shoot only once, but if you can set it to loop as well. Now, this pad button right here, I'm just going to show you the sample bank since we're on here. The sample bank, the pad button, all that does is turn this whole thing into a button. So the whole thing is now a button no matter where I touch, which is very helpful if you're, you know, you're DJing, you don't want to think about just touching that one little tiny play button. You can touch anywhere on there. But you cannot load a sample when that pad button's on there. So if I want to load a sample, it won't work. So you have to turn off the pad. Okay? You also have monitors left and right for your sample banks. Um, you've also got here, say for example, say for example, I've got a music playing and I open my sample bank. I just want to grab a loop. 
So I got an eight bar loop. So I'm gonna grab it now. Boom. So now it's in the sample bank. And you've got filters on your samples. If you turn off reset, you can actually leave the filter on. You can do whatever you want. Highs, you can take the highs out, mids, lows, whatever you want. Reset, snaps them back to zero, as usual. Okay. So we'll turn that off for now. And then back into... There we go. So now you're in the main window again. And we'll go through these buttons here. Sync, obviously syncs the beats to the other track. Uh, this is your pitch bend, pitch up, pitch down, or sorry, pitch down, pitch up. Uh, this is your actual pitch control, so you can slow this song down, speed the song up. Uh, right above that is the little musical note. Um, that gives you your master tempo or key lock. Um, we are you friends. We are you you're, you're a change there, but if I leave master tempo on... And if you want to go really fast and speed up, hold this button here and this. And you can go really fast. Okay. okay, so there we go. Uh, what have I missed here? Shift 2. If, for example, I want to set a cue point um, exactly right there, but I can't seem to get it with the finger or whatever, you can hit Shift 2. That turns your, your loop in and out into a button. You can just nudge over. That's a, kind of a nudge. Then I can set a cue point there if I want. Okay. Uh, now the top buttons here are loops. Those are your loops. There's your loops. Loop out. So there's your loop in and out. Now the ones below it are advanced. And if you hit Shift One and back, you go back eight bars. So it's good for doing a stutter or whatever like that. It's kind of neat. Just good for a stutter or something like that. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much all the buttons on the main page. Uh, the middle button, as usual, is your is your track selection. Now, here's something cool we just added. If you go to the letter A here and press it on your A deck, it brings up this really cool platter. And the platter is used for a number of things. Uh, one of them, when the when the track selection window is open, you can scroll your tracks, and when you find the one you want, you can actually load it directly from this button here, this little arrow and it'll load it right into the non-playing deck and then you can play it Okay. so the other thing you can do with it is if you're not in this window you can turn it off and you can actually you can cue with it you can cue your track set a cue point and away you go one of the cool things we've put on this is if you hit this SM button right here press that now you can scratch with it takes a while to get used to, but with some practice you get used to it. Now up in the top hand corner here, you've got SE. This button here is a selection between low, moderate, and ultra, and that's how fast the release is. So if you notice, if I go to moderate, it'll still spin a little bit, and if I go to ultra, it'll spin a lot. And then with the scratch feature, see, there you go, and it always goes back to the beat. So if you want to get out of the, the, the scratch platter, you can just press A and it gets rid of it, or you can hit A over here and it gets rid of it as well, and closes it. So there, and there's one again on B as well, and that opens the one on the other deck. If the search window is open, it automatically by default goes to your search jog wheel. Okay. So there you go. So there you go. That's the jog wheel search windows uh, there's also the up and downs at the bottom here down up um, you can actually just load a track by pressing the arrow or as always you can drag drag and drop a track on there 
no problem. So let's go now to the main screen window. If you hit the main button, that's your main volume, your headphone volume and how much mix is in your headphones. Uh, we've put the crossfader button in here. If people want to use it, it's in the main volume now. And CRU is cruise. That's mainly for putting on background music and letting it play itself. Um, and the crossfader is, uh, oh, there's three arrows. Be careful of this. The arrows on either side are a snap, left and right. So if you snap that there, it stays to the right. Now, if you snap to the middle, it stays in the middle. But say, for example, I have it snapped left and I pull it all the way over, it'll actually keep snapping to the left. Um, if you forget that's on and then you get out of this window, for example, and you're mixing and you're not hearing it, you can hear it in the monitors, but you're, you're not hearing any master, that's probably what happened. You probably turned on the crossfader and snapped it to left. Guilty as charged. I've done that before. So there you go. Uh, I think... That's pretty much it. And we're going to go show you one extra cool feature here. We've got on the drawing wall, um, you can choose your color now. Emulator 1.5. There you go. And then, as always, you can invert it for the crowd. There's also a picture viewer. Um, you can manipulate your photos and stuff like that. So you've got photos, let's say for example you've got this photo here, you want to make it bigger, you want to put these ones in behind, you can do anything you want with it. You can say for example you want to put this up here and it's your you know, your DJ logo like mine there, and then you want to invert it for the crowd to see, just hit invert and the crowd can see it now. So there you go, some of the new cool features of Emulator 1.5 for Tractor 2. There you go.